Hi, how's everyone doing out there? Um, it's been a while since I've been with you, but uh, I just want to let you know I'm going to be back with you on a regular basis. I'm going to be trying to get at least one video up a week, hopefully more than that. Um, I finally have a decent camera that I can can uh, upload with, and I, actually I'm using a tablet, and uh, hopefully I can just upload on my tablet. It won't use up my computer uh, time, because that was really uh, hurt me with my computer time. But anyway, all that's uh, bygones. Hey, I uh, just wanted to share a few uh, items with you that I've picked up as of late. I, I hadn't been on here a while, but um, I have been picking and, and uh, selling and just in, enjoying myself doing that, keeping busy. Uh, just got back from a, a mission trip, went to Chile for uh, uh, basically 10 days, uh, nine, some of that in there. But uh, anyway, um, I did some picking while I was down there. Um, I, thought I wanted a, uh, a tag from Chile, but I ended up, uh, you know, a car tag. But all the all the ch tags in Chile are uh, they all they all have Chile on them all over, and they're not separated like uh, like in Mississippi, we're separated by counties, and you have the counties on there. They all have um, they all look just to, just alike. Have two digit, two digit, digit, two digits, and uh, and then Chile on the bottom. So these that I picked up while I was in Chile, uh, they don't have these anymore. This is San Miguel. I hope this, uh, maybe this is backwards. I'm going to have to flip my camera upside down. I'm t this is a, a test on this camera anyway. Um, but anyway, 1984, they don't do this anymore. Uh, San Miguel, I, we actually went there and sang. The uh, Mississippi Singing Churchman is who I went with. And uh, we did about two or three concerts a day while I was down there. But I, I picked this up. And also pick this tag up um, from San Fernando. I think that's going to end up being backwards. Oh well, 72, uh, 19, from 1972. This is for a uh, one of the tricycles. They don't use these kind of tags anymore, and they they just had some real good color. I couldn't talk them down a whole lot, so uh, I was somewhere under about 17 bucks um, a piece for these, but. Uh, they're a souvenir for me. I, I won't sell these, but uh, they are they are rare. They they don't make them like this anymore down there. I mean, how many people have uh, tags from out of the country? That's some pretty cool tags. Um, an item I picked up at auction. This is a as you can see a knife. Um, actually, would have been a watch fob. Um, but this, is, I don't know if you can see the uh, where's my camera. There we go, Georgia. This the football. This is uh, this is gold plated. The knife itself, but the football is ten karat gold. Just the football, I can get it separated uh, from the knife, and just the football. The weight in the football um, is about one hundred twenty bucks. Just on on that, I paid seven bucks for this and about four other items, small items at auction that I picked up. But this the football. Uh, in addition to this, this is from Georgia, 1927. 1927 was a uh, one of their championship years. They won the championship that year, so uh, they were a number one team. And uh, anyway, I'm going to put that on, and hopefully it'll get in a bidding war. We'll see. Uh, but just a great, great little find. Nothing major. A little sidekick by Electrolux. I uh, paid like 50 cents for that. Uh, these go for about 20 bucks. Um, I, I pick up picked up some old um, uh, rims and, and such from uh, wheels from way back in the day. This one is a wheelbarrow wheel and is actually in good shape and can could actually be used and and have a wheelbarrow wheel uh, wheelbarrow built with it. Um, I picked this one up along, I couldn't bring the other ones because I have uh, six other ones ranging. I have another one like this and then the rest of them are large and have two that are really large. Uh, one of them actually is made, one of the large ones, the rim is lipped like a uh, bicycle and is made made to hold a, uh, a tire, which is really unusual. You don't see those very often. Um, anyway, I, I paid $120 for all of those. Um, just something that was given to me. This is kind of neat for around here. Um, this company is in no, in not in business. Hadn't been in business for quite a while. The Italic Company, Kosciuszko, Mississippi, where I am. Um, 
good friend of mine gave me this one and uh, this one's not has a little bit of mess up on the side back up where you can see that but um, just a little messed up on the side but great color anyway these were given to me by another uh, picker friend of mine uh, from around here in our buddies and uh, he just uh, had had a bunch of those and and gave those to me so I was glad to get them uh, picked this up uh, this was in a lot of a bunch of items that I paid uh, I probably not about, about 20 bucks I gave the lady for about two boxes full of items uh, this was one of the items actually I got to choose she was moving stuff out of a home and um, she just had all this stuff lying around said get what you want put it in a, in a, uh, a bucket and so I did and I piled up a bunch of stuff for about 20 bucks this was in it um, this is an in case you didn't read that, it's a it's a Lionel train clock. It's the uh, it's an anniversary clock. Um, here we go. It does work. Let's see if we can get it to stop out here. There you go. Anyway, just a cool cool little piece. I'll probably put that in my uh, booth rather than sell that online. They do sell online. Just uh, I'll probably just for fun put it in my booth. This is a Dotson, Dotson uh, Village Collector Clock, and it does work. Uh, it does work great. It's actually in good shape. There's nothing chipped on it whatsoever. This is from the Danbury Mint. Yes, this is from the Danbury Mint. Uh, this clock sells uh, out of the box. It sells for about 80 bucks. So that was also in that, that lot of items that I got from that lady. Um, let's see if I had anything else to show you today. I uh, just picked up some, uh, I'm always picking up ink. You kind of got to be careful. You got to kind of have to be careful about uh, ink because some inks just, uh, you know, I'm not going to buy something and, and put it on eBay for two bucks. Uh, I'm just not. You know, even if I get it for a penny by the time you, you pay your fees and everything else, uh, it's just not worth your time. So you have to be careful with, with these because some of them, it's, it amazes me um, how many items are on eBay. Um, this is just an extra, but uh, it, it does. It amazes me how many items are on eBay for two or three dollars free shipping. You know, if if you're doing that, I, I how in the world you, you got time to do uh, free shipping on a two and three dollar item that by the time you, you know, you make 50 cents on you spent you spent all the time putting it on the computer and, and getting it and shipping it and everything else. It just doesn't make sense. But hey, uh, people can do what they want to do. Um, I picked up uh, these. Uh, both they are both identical, but they are new in the box. Um, Nancy Drew Mysteries for uh, PC. These these are pretty popular uh, little PC games. Uh, had some friends of mine mine that used to play that, play those. Uh, of course, these are always great to pick up. You can usually get them for a, a buck or two, and uh, this one sells. These are minimum uh, 20 bucks. I mean minimum. And if it were really cleaned up, uh, this one, uh, it needs to be cleaned up a little bit. But uh, it's in good working order. I, I'd rather come across these. Unless um, somebody's just been real bad to them, they they usually uh, will work just fine. I, I, I keep, um, usually when I get some of these, I will end up um, keep finding, um, blah, 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 blah. It usually end up finding film that I can uh, use that's the battery still good and you can just put that in there and, and uh, test it you don't have to go pay basically 20 about 20 25 bucks uh, for a uh, pack of film to test with anyway but that that's a good little item you can usually pick those up for a, a dollar or two um, I did pick this one up I'm in the middle of cleaning it does have the cover for that this is the eye zone uh, by Polaroid uh, it has the small little film actually has this one has some film in it um, These sell uh, fairly well, but actually if you can find the film which I, I did find I, I don't have it in here with me But uh, I do have a, a pack of film same as the Polaroid the the larger Polaroid film uh, Goes for about 20 bucks just for the film for this little uh, eyes on Polaroid uh, instant camera I think that's all I have for you today as far as uh, items go Hey, it's been uh, it's it's been great to, to be able to get back with you. I've been like I said, I've been watching your videos. Hope to get back a little more involved with the uh, YouTube community here and all you guys. And I just I want you to know I appreciate y'all. 
and I appreciate all the videos that get put up by everybody and for those of you who watch I appreciate you and I just want you to know I'll be back with you on a regular basis here and uh, hopefully give you some a lot of good tips to help you along because I, I don't mind helping anybody else um, I, I I was watching one of the videos the other day and he was talking about uh, didn't mind he didn't mind um, sharing I, I think it was Cody he said he didn't mind sharing any information with anybody because um, he was he didn't mind because it wasn't a matter of uh, competition or anything else. You know, there's plenty of stuff. There's always stuff to buy. There's always stuff to sell. And uh, if you can just uh, manage your business right, you can make some money doing it. Hey, guys. Love God. Love others. Y'all have a great day.